everybody, I want to give you a quick update. This is going to be a real quick video. I got a question a month or two ago. They wanted to see the solids removal device, and I'm actually going to clean it out today. So I wanted to show you how good this thing is working. Um, I haven't cleaned it out in about, oh, two and a half, three weeks. So it's been a little while. And you can see, first I'm going to take you to the dirty side. I'm going to move it real slow. So you can see all the way to the top. It's just filthy is the good word uh, and what I do when I clean it is if you look at the pipe there you can see some stuff in the pipe what I do is I get a a little rag for lack of better terms just a small one probably three inches by three inches I put it on the end of a hanger and I put it in the back and I swab up as far as I can go and I usually get to about that valve and I get a lot of gunk coming out of there and that just helps the flow but you can see, I'll get a close up. You can see this side is, it's literally about five inches from the top. It's almost, it's just floating stuff, floating. The other side, look how clean this is. It is dirty at the bottom, yes, but it's doing its job. Uh, everything is settling and the clean water is coming to the top. So this is actually working really, really well. Very simple to do, very simple to make. It handles a large volume of water. Uh, that's what I was after when I build my larger system later. I wanted something that was quite large. If I do a radial flow, uh, that's kind of limited on size unless I get a couple of them. Otherwise, I'll be changing it out every day or two, and I wanted something. Because now this is a 55-gallon drum. If I have three or four 500-gallon tanks, uh, I will probably have not something 55 gallon i'll probably have a 100 gallon size one doing the same thing and you can see there's just a little bit of stuff on the wall on the bottom of the pipe and when i once i drain it out i drain it and when i drain it i have a broom that's just for the aquaponic system it's a silicone broom that has a squeegee on one side it's really nice and as it's lowering i scrub the sides and the water it comes out i put on a hose and I water some of the ground plants outside and they really like the stuff you can see just boosts of growth when I do this it, it's yeah I, I change it up all the time because it's such good nutrient water but what I do when it's almost gone when I only have about a fifth of the water left I get the garden hose with the valve still open and I spray it all around then I scrub it again then I spray it again and then I turn it off and then once it's down I fill it up uh, with the water in that 55 gallon drum that's been sitting for a couple days so that way I have water and I'm not lose lost in the system anywhere otherwise I'd be uh, 55 gallons short my sump will in about two hours will be short water and you will see it so that's it like I said a real quick video I just wanted to show you my clarifier in action I'll go side by side here so you can see and I'll give both angles so you can see how clear it is when I do that and how filthy it is when I do that, for lack of better terms. So that's a clarifier. I hope this is informative. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if, if you want me to show any piece in particular in more detail, let me know. I'm going to start doing that. But if you want to see something first, uh, just let me know. Uh, I did have one question from somebody since I'm right here. They wanted to know what these plants were right here. Uh, these are daddle peppers. Uh, they're, real, they're smaller peppers. They're about the size of a Tabasco really hot really really hot but they're really flavorful so i'm actually excited about getting some of the daddles and keith snow from the harvesting podcast i got the seeds from him so uh, if you're in south florida you already know about daddles they're real popular in south florida but i did get a question on that since they're always showing it when i'm doing that uh they're kind of slow growing they don't produce real quick but once they produce they just throw them out like pre you know profusely one plant's probably good enough for a family for a year. So once they start producing, it just shoots out, so. Okay, when I was cleaning it out, I said I should show you what it looks like after it's clean. Uh, here it is. You can see it's just starting to come back. The flow's just a little bit more than that, not much. So it's just about there. And you can see here, you see all the way at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. Uh, I don't get it 100%. I get it probably about 98. <laughs> now, I don't want to be confusing. When I get, when I clean it out, I don't scrub the sides. I just brush them real quick. Because remember, the sides of all your equipment, all your tanks, all everything has the good bacteria in it. You don't want to get rid of those. 
Otherwise, uh, you just have to repopulate them on that. Same thing if you got floating beds. Do not scrub the bottom sides of those because the bacteria live on there. So I just take the brush, it's a silicone brush, it's pretty soft, and I just rub real quick on the side that gets the big chunks off, and that's all I do. Now, I do scrub the bottom because I don't really, I'm on purpose, but I swish it back and forth to make sure everything's up to make sure it all flows out. But I just wanted to tell you, you can see some of the stuff coming in already. See, you can see some of the stuff floating down. That's from the fish tank. Uh, what I also do is I forgot to mention this. Let me open the fish tank up. My downspout there. I move it around real little to make sure the fish aren't there so I don't crush them. Then I lift it and bang it real good. Uh, shortly before I clean it but I didn't I forgot so I did it afterwards and what that does is the bottom has those little holes that let the water up in it cleans all those out because after you do that you'll see a bunch of chunks just come floating up uh, so that's what I did there so that's what a few of these chunks here come from that immediately so that's it that's what it looks like when it's done I uh, just wanted to show you the difference there hope everybody has a great day uh, thank you everybody for subscribing to this uh, channel. If you have any questions, let me know. Everybody have a great day. Bye.